Nature finds a way, the old saying goes. We see it in how animals fly, crawl, slink, dig, and otherwise make their way through the world. Scientists have long recognized the ways in which evolution has perfected movement in the natural world and mimicked it in their robot designs. Here's the latest, and it's simple and incredibly complicated all at the same time. VOA's Kevin Enochs reports. Watch the way this cuttlefish moves, quick and sure, even without legs. Now look at the velox. While it's not quite as quick and sure of itself as the cuttlefish, Benjamin Filardo from Pliant Energy Systems says it can do things the cuttlefish can't. One of the key advantages of the velox robot is that it's able to move from the water onto land and back again. And it turns out that this particular way of creating a moving undulating fin, with one fin you can uh, go through snow, you can go over sand, swim pretty well, and also ice skate. So this is the first robot that we're aware of that can swim at the surface of the water, can swim down under the water, and also move pretty well on land. The Veloc switches from water to land by just changing the ways its fins move. If we put the fins down low, and we go to a shorter wavelength. Now this is a land crawling. So if it would swim up to the shore, then it would go into this mode, and it would start to crawl up the sand. Filardo says their team didn't set out to copy the cuttlefish, but that this propulsion system is just what happened when they took into account all they knew about physics and fluid dynamics. Movement systems like this one have big advantages over blades or wheels. Compared with a, a bladed system, uh, one of the great advantages of an undulating fin is it won't get tangled. So if you have debris-filled water, it won't become entangled in, in plant matter. So this can go through swamps, it can go through very heavily debris-laden water. Uh, it can swim effectively through mud and uh, it potentially sewage and even some very viscous fluids such as oil. So potentially you can envisage a robot like this swimming up oil pipelines to do inspections the bladed system is going to have trouble with that viscosity. Right now, the Velox requires a person to tell it what to do, but the team is working on a fully autonomous version, as well as ways to incorporate the unique propulsion system into scuba suits and boats.